Hello, I am Benoit from Kissbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create very quickly and very simply an RTP MIDI wireless link between a MIDI application running on an iPad and a MIDI setup connected with a classical DIN MIDI connector like this one. There are solutions existing for the iPad to connect MIDI devices directly to the iPad, but they require to install an adapter on the docking connector here on the iPad. The problem is that the iPad is mainly designed to be a wireless de device, so if I want to use it like this without any cable, it's a bit problematic. But the iPad includes a standard protocol named RTP MIDI, which is the same protocol used by the keys box, so the two devices are able to connect to communicate directly together. And due to this, I am able to send MIDI data from any MIDI application running on the iPad directly on the network, and I am able to play the synthesizer which is connected to the keys box. You notice that I have selected a fast attack sound to demonstrate that the latency is very, very low. Okay, let's take a look now to the different devices that you need to create the Wi Fi RTP MIDI link with the iPad. That's very simple, you just need two devices. The first one being a Wi Fi access point. This one is a Netgear WGR614, uh, which is uh, a Wi Fi access point with a router and with a network hub. Uh, you, don't, you do not necessarily need such a big device, you can use a very simple Wi-Fi access point with just a Wi-Fi antenna and uh, a network connection behind. The second device that you need is of course the keys box, you need the last generation uh, of keys box, uh, which must be loaded with ver firmware version 5.5 minimum to be able to communicate with the iPad. Let's define first the network configuration that we want for this setup. Uh, here I've chosen a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 uh, which allows us to put on the same net subnetwork uh, up to 254 devices, which seems to be enough. Uh, I will put the Wi-Fi access point uh, in the uh, address 1 in the subnet 192.168.0 the same subnet shall be used, of course, for the iPad address, but I will put it at address 25, for example. And in the same subnet, I put the keys box at address 102. Uh, the only address which is not allowed in this uh, configuration is 255 for the last digit. Uh, I recommend you to keep this configuration on paper because you will need it for the uh, next configuration step uh, which are coming. Let's start by configuring the Wi-Fi access point. So you need to enter the IP address of the device then you will log in it. Uh, at, no at this moment normally you should see a kind of web interface like this. Uh, there are a lot of settings, but most of them are, are correct by default. The first thing is to define the name you want to give for the access point. So let's call it Keysbox RTP MIDI. I recommend you to add a password for uh, security, for Wi-Fi security. So let's use Keysbox MIDI. We have to write it down because we will need it for the iPad configuration. Now we have to verify that the radio is activated and that the SSID is broadcasted because otherwise the iPad will not be able to find the Wi-Fi access point. And finally, just make sure that you enter the IP address and the subnet mask you want for the Wi-Fi access point and then it's configured. The second device you have to configure is the iPad itself. So this is quite simple, you just need to go to the setup, then choose Wi-Fi, then you will see a list of all available Wi-Fi access points that the iPad uh, is currently seeing. If you look in the list, you will find here the Kissbox RTP MIDI that we have defined just before. It asks us to enter the password, so uh, let's enter it, so it kits box MIDI join the network and now 
the iPad is connected to our Wi-Fi access point. Just push on the blue arrow here on Kissbox RTP MIDI, choose static and we just need to enter the IP address that we have decided to use, so 192.168.0.25 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.255 0 and now it's ok. The, the iPad is completely configured for uh, RTP MIDI right now. The last thing to do now is to configure the keys box. Uh, always check that you are using the last firmware and the last editor. You can check it by clicking on About Keys Box Editor. The keys box are delivered with address 253 by default from factory. So the first thing is to connect to this box. So enter 253 then Add the keys box manually. Now click on the box in the tree and put the address here you want to use for the keys box. Just upload the configuration, wait until the box has restarted. And now enter the new address because we have just changed the IP address. Click on add to locate it. And when the box is found, go in the tree on the new address, double click. And the only thing that we have to do now is to replace this address with the one that we have selected for the iPad. So do not forget the address that we have entered. Just click Upload and OK. Now it's done. OK, the last thing that we have to do now is simply to use the wireless RTP MIDI setup that we have created. So I'm going to make a demonstration with Touch OSC like I did before. So I start Touch OSC. I notice that now in the list of MIDI device on my iPad, I see that Core MIDI is active. And when I touch it, I see that I have two uh, network sessions, one for the input and one for the output, which has been created automatically. These are the sessions which are controlled by the keys box. You notice that I didn't have to do anything on the iPad itself to activate them. I go back to this and now what I'm going to do is just activate the setup that I'm wanting to use, the keys. And if I do just touch the keyboard, I'm able to play it. Thank you for listening.